So land monitoring is essentially uh, making sure you understand what traffic is going to your remote sites. So it's understanding the who, what, where, when, and why of the network, really. Um, and making sure that uh, bandwidth consumption, congestion, drop packets, things aren't, uh, bad things aren't happening in the branches, basically. So uh, Corbel's uh, ability to look at the packets um, at, the, uh, at the nanosecond level allows you to uh, better understand what's happening out there. Uh, a very common thing to happen is that people in the branch will say, hey, the internet's slow today, or hey, the, the WAN link is slow. Uh, you'll look at the link and it'll say 1%, 2% utilization, right? And a lot of times, network engineers will go, oh, yeah, we're done. 2% utilization, it's not being used, so everything should be good. These people are just, uh, hadn't get their coffee that morning, right? Well, that really isn't the case. And the, the precision of Corval with our ability to do live microburst analysis allows you to see, yeah, that might be 1% utilized, because you might be looking at it through, um, through NetFlow, which is like a five minute or a one minute polling. So you're only seeing this in a one minute aggregate view, where we see it at the, at the nanosecond view. So they really might be experiencing performance degradation, but you can't see it because the current tools that you use uh, don't give you the precision and the granularity you need in order to make those decisions. So traditionally, I think uh, specifically on the WAN, uh, people have used NetFlow, um, MRTG to be able to monitor, and that's usually at a one minute or a five minute um, you know, average. So, you know, at today's speed, right, uh, you know, if you were waiting for a page to load in one minute, I mean, you're, you're done, right? So usually after about uh, two or three seconds, if the page isn't loading, we're moving on. And those levels are, are getting less and less every, every year, meaning that we're, we're, we're less inclined to, to wait for something, right? As, as uh, bandwidth increases, as IT improves, we're, uh, you know, getting less and less able to sit and, and wait for those things coming down. So, you really need to see it at the nanosecond level because uh, that's the way that uh, people are moving these days. The, the person that would be using the WAM monitoring really is the troubleshooter. It's the guy that gets the call in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day to, to, to say, hey, something is happening or, 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 or what's happening um, from my branch locations. So that really is the main user for uh, WAN monitoring with, uh, with Corbel. Let me tell you an example of, of one time where somebody uh, used uh, Corbel to be able to troubleshoot the WAN, right? Um, Sally from accounting is calling in. She's saying that things are performing poorly today. Uh, the, uh, the network engineer get, gets the call. He goes on to and looks at the, uh, the WAN link and he sees it at that 2% uh, utilization. There's plenty of bandwidth available to the user. The user is still complaining that things are performing poorly. Well, what we can do with Corbel is we can actually dig deeper than just that 2% utilization and look at the microburst or the effective bandwidth that's being used for that WAN link at that point in time. And a lot of times you'll see that uh, we're actually bursting across that bandwidth threshold. So we're dropping packets and we're dropping packets, why? Well, with Corbel, we can actually tell you what applications are out there on the network that are causing those drop packets. Meaning the top end views that we give you are not just top end every minute, it's basically the top end with the granularity of nanoseconds. So I can tell you what the actual microburst application is and then do something about it. Put it in a queue, prioritize it, uh, stop it from happening. Um, so lots of ways that Corbel can help uh, the, uh, the, the WAN troubleshoot or troubleshoot the WAN.